Hey loves, welcome to my YouTube channel, Vami Danu. And our menu for today is this crowd pleasing garden eggs and okra stew recipe that I know you're going to really, really love. Without talking much, let's get started. Over here, I have some beef or cow meat. I also have some wele or cow skin, which I'm going to transfer into my cooking pot. To that, I'll add a blended mix of ginger, garlic, and onion, some seasoning to taste and salt as well i'll go in with enough water give that a very good mix transfer it onto my cooker and cook that until it is nice and tender so after roughly 20 to 25 minutes this is what my meat or beef and willy is looking like now so it is cooked so i'm going to set that aside and move on to cooking my garden eggs okra and add demi or jute leaves i'll transfer all of that into my cooking pan going with about a teaspoon of baking soda and enough water and leave that to cook for roughly 10 minutes so the baking soda is going to fasten the cooking process as well as help the okra attain a beautiful draw however this step is completely optional once the okra is nice and cooked, we're going to proceed to making our stew base. So into my cooking pan, I went in with enough palm oil, allowed it sizzle for a while and went in with some tuna. Fried that for roughly 5 to 10 minutes and then take it out when it's nice and firm on the outside. Next, we're going to add some tomato paste into the palm oil as well as some momone or cured fish. We're going to fry that for roughly five minutes till the momone is almost dissolving. And then we are going to go in with our pepper mix. These are my ingredients for the pepper mix. I have some red scotch bonnets, tomatoes, onions, ginger, and garlic. So I'll quickly blend that and add it to our stew base. Once that is done, I'll go right ahead to season it with some stock cube and salt to taste. And cover and leave that to cook for roughly 10 minutes. Also, one thing to note, if you want your okra soup or okra stew to come out very slimy, you have to stay away from tomato paste or any tomatoes whatsoever. But with this particular recipe, I don't mind if the okra stew doesn't come out too slimy. I just want a very rich, delicious garden next okra stew. Once the stew base is cooked, I'll go in with some adodi or clams. I'll also add some dried fish, some crabs, and my fried tuna. To that, I'll also add my steamed meat and willy. And give that a very, very good mix. And then I'm going to cover and leave that to soak into the stew well for roughly five minutes. After five minutes, I'll go ahead to add my cooked okra, garden eggs, and add them to my stew. And then give that a very, very good mix till everything is nicely combined and uniformed. At this stage, you may choose to add some sliced onions and green pakushito if you want to because it's completely optional so i did just that I added some sliced onions and green pakushita gave that a good mix and left it to cook for an additional three minutes and we are good to go your garden eggs okra stew will be ready i paired mine with some banku or akbele and it was absolutely delicious anyways we've come to the end of this video if you found this video helpful if you found it useful, kindly follow for more delicious recipes from me. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye.